so hi everyone today we are going to see uh, one assembly language program using which we are going to find whether the number is positive or negative so let's see the question that is write an assembly language program to find if the number stored in memory location 4000h is negative or not if the number is negative store the negative number to 3000h so in the 4000h some data is stored in the 4000h some data is stored and we have to find whether the data which is stored in the 4000h is negative or not if the number is negative in that case we have to move the data to 3000h so first of all assume that the if the data stored in the 4000h is zero data stored in the 4000h is zero okay so let's first move this data to the accumulator because in the memory location we cannot directly check whether the data is negative or positive to process we have to transfer this data to the microprocessor so let's load this data to accumulator we will use the instruction that is lda 4000h when we execute the instruction lda 4000h the data will be moved to the accumulator so in the accumulator the 4000h will be stored after moving we will check whether the number is positive or negative but you know that the zero is neither positive nor negative so there is a possibility that the data which is stored in the memory location can be zero so before checking positive or negative we have to check whether the number is zero or not if the number is not zero in that case we are going to check for positive or negative if the number is zero in that case we will stop the program because the data is neither positive or negative so to check whether the number which is in the accumulator is zero or not we will use the instruction that is cpi 00h cpi 00h it means the comparison between 00h and the accumulator will be done if the data in the accumulator in the 00h is equal in that case the zero flag will be set so when zero flag will be set it means the data in the accumulator is zero in that case we have to stop the program we are not going to check whether the number is negative or positive so when the zero flag is set we will use the instruction jump zero end and what is end end means the halt instruction it means the program ends here we will not check whether the number is positive or negative let's see the second case the number which is stored in the 4000h is positive suppose the data is 19h again the same instruction lda 4000h so data will be moved to the accumulator 19h we will compare with 00h now we know that because the 0 and 19 is not equal it means zero flag will not be set so the program will not end so when zero flag is not set we will check whether the number is negative or positive so to check whether the number is negative or positive we will perform some operation on the accumulator before doing that let's represent this number into binary so 1 means 0 0 0 1 9 means 1001 now how to know if the number is negative or positive we have to check the msp if the value of the msp is 0 it means the number is positive if the value of the msp is 1 it means it is negative so right now the number is positive but by just transferring the data in the accumulator no flag will be set because in the data transfer instruction no flags are set so by transferring after that we have to process this data so what we are going to do is we will rotate the content of accumulator left side so let's use the instruction rotate the content of accumulator left side when we perform this instruction the msp will be transferred to carry now the carry flag is zero now you tell me when the value of the carry flag when the value of the carry flag is zero in that case what we are going to do we will end our program because we have to transfer the data to 3000h when the number is negative so when the number is positive when the carry is not set we will jump to end 
so after rotating when the carry is not set we will use the instruction jump not carry when the carry is not set we will jump to end so we will jump to end means program is end now let's see the third case suppose the number stored is negative double a Let's see the whole program from the beginning. So, NDA four thousand H. This data will be moved to the accumulator. Let's represent it as a binary. After that, CPA zero zero H. If we compare, the zero flag will not set, so we will not end. We will not jump to end. If zero flag is not set, so the sequence will be followed. So, R L will be executed. When R L executed, the in the carry we will get one. After that, we can see that the jump not carry end. So after rotating, if carry is not generating, we will jump to end. But in this example, the carry is generated, so we will not jump to end, but we will follow the sequence. So tell me, when the carry is generated, what we have to do? When the carry is generated, we have to transfer the data to the three thousand edge. But if you notice, because we have performed the rotate. Operation left side, the data is changed. So we have to change the data again so that it will be in the original form. So we will use the instruction R A R. So when we use the instruction R A R, this carry will be shift here and all the bits will be again shift back. So in the accumulator we will get the original data. After shifting, we will store the data into which memory location? S T A three thousand. so this is how the program is done now you have to solve by yourself you have to check whether the number is positive or not okay and do it yourself and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and this is it thank you